Hello everybody, welcome to another video, and today I'm going to show you how to make this basic elevator system using tween. It's very simple, and well, let's get right into it. Alright, so the first thing that you're going to do is insert a part by clicking this up here. Then you're just going to want to scale the part to whatever you want. I'm just going to do four, uh, I'm just going to do four wide, four long, and one stud tall. I think that would be good, actually. Um, I'm going to do it a bit bigger. I'm going to do... It's six. six. There we go. All right. So what we're gonna do is making like a basic elevator. So we're just gonna now name this to elevator. That seems about right. And now go down here. You're gonna want to anchor it. Make sure it's anchored, otherwise this won't work. Then you're gonna want to duplicate this. I'm just going to leave this one right here. Do not move it at all. Set the transparency to 1. And then go down and set can collide to off. Though you cannot collide with it. And I'm going to rename this to elevator position 1. Basically what this would do is when we script it. Um, what this would do is this will make the elevator first go to this position. Before going to the next position. When it moves. And uh, now we're going to want to duplicate this one. Duplicate. And rename it to elevator position 2. Just like that. And then move it up like that. There we go. And now what we're going to do is we're going to group these. So select all of them. Right click. And then click group. I'm just going to rename this to elevator system. Just like that. And now go down to the elevator. You're going to want to create a script. Click plus and then click script. And now right in here, delete this. And you're, first you're going to do local tween equals game get service tween service. So this will just basically get the tween service from Roblox. And then we're going to want to do local position one equals Elev or we're gonna do script dot parent dot ele oh that's what we're gonna do script dot parent dot parent dot elevator position one and then just copy this paste it down here and then just change it to two elevator position two elevator position two just like that and now we're actually going to create the tweens. So we're going to do local move up equals tween create. And then you're going to do script dot parent. Basically what this is, is the first one right up here is um, the script dot parent. That is the elevator right here. So first, uh, first off, we have to get the... Um, we have to get the actual part that we want to move, then do a comma, and then you're going to do tween info dot new. And actually up here, let's do something up here. Let's create local timer, timer equals, I'm just going to do three. Basically this is, is this is going to be the time it takes for it to move. So tween info dot new, and then we're just going to do timer, timer. Basically, so this this will do it'll take the part, and then for the time it'll do um it'll do the time we have up here, so it'll take three seconds to move up. And then you're going to do comma, and then you're going to right here you're going to put brackets, and then you're going to do C frame equals. You're going to do C frame equals position two dot C frame. So this would be the C frame that it will move to. Will be the C frame of um, position two. And now we're going to do move. No, move, we're going to do local move down. And you're going to want to copy this entire script right up here. Right that. And then just paste it on down there. But you're going to want to change this right here to position one. So when it moves down, it goes position one. When it moves up, it goes position two. 
And now we're gonna do while true do. And you can change it something else. You can do it like when the part is clicked. You can add a click detector into here. So when the part is clicked, it'll move up and down. But for now, I'm just gonna do um, a loop. I'm just gonna do wait timer. And then I'm gonna do um, move up. Play. And I'm gonna do wait timer. Oh, whoops. And I'm gonna do move down play. And so this this will be an infinite loop of it'll wait three seconds, it'll move up, it'll wait three seconds and move down. And now let's play test this out and see how it works. And as you can see, it slowly moves up, and then it moves back down for three seconds. And it just goes back and forth. And if you want to add a delay, um, we can actually go down here. Let's see. Um, move up. Then we can actually do wait timer plus, let's just say plus four. And let's move your timer plus four. And then it'll wait the timer amount plus four seconds. So if we actually hit replay here. And then you can make a working elevator. So let's just see. If you stand on it. After three, after a few seconds, it'll move up, and then it'll move back down. And the best part about tween is it doesn't use, or it uses C, C frame, but it, it it glides to it. It's not like a jagged movement; it just slowly glides to it to make a smooth transition. And you can use this with doors too. You can make it so you click a door, it glides open. So yeah, this actually be pretty useful. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to like and subscribe, and see you in the next one.